Hey, hey, here with Easy Jeezy. I got a thousand things to tell you. I've been working on the car. Uh, I stop myself. I get so enthused about what I'm doing. I, I don't want to take the time to mess around with the camera. Uh, this car was running so poorly when I picked it up that uh, I'm surprised I even bought it. And I wasn't able to test drive it. I chose not to try to test drive it. We just started it up. I hear there's no rod knocks. There was uh, an issue uh, the last time he had driven the car. The right air cleaner had caught on fire. He didn't know it. His friends were following him. They got to pull over, probably threw dirt on it. And this is why the air cleaner's just uh, uh, was just a mess. I, he, I asked, you know, he gave me the air cleaners. These were the taller six-inch air cleaners. And he, you could see all the dirt there. This thing was probably flaming. Now, this is a cotton filter, so, of course... Um, you're going to, uh, that's going to catch fire and break down. It's oil impregnated. Another thing that I noticed on this car, uh, this is the carburetor that had the fire in it. And I don't know if you can tell down there, but there's a lot of charred stuff on that butterfly. That should be brassy looking. He told me that he soaked them and cleaned them twice. And, and so he says the car just never has run right since then. So I noticed when I did get it running, uh, I tried tuning his carburetor and then I decided to put these 48s on here that I've had for a long time. It's been years since they've run and I'm having tunability problems. And every time I got around this side of the engine, it's like, God, I'm getting a face full of exhaust here. And it's like, what the hell is that? Man, and I thought, I wonder if it's even it's restricted or something and sure enough i pulled the super trap off i went to their website because i have another car that i'm running a super trap on my 2110 i added little washers between the discs which is probably not a good idea and i have to read watching their video but they had these the whole disc pack was on backwards and you can see in the end piece over here all this uh junk that's inside there and it's as you start looking through the disc packs you can see all this you know there's a buildup of crud in there so <laughs> i'm sure the eggs, that one of the reasons why i wasn't tuning is that uh it wasn't set up right and plus he had retarded the the timing back to 10 degrees all four cylinders have 135 pounds compression it's supposed to be a 2275 i really don't like this oil filter arrangement that he's got here instead of doing a full flow system and that might just if i put my other style on there he's running it all off of the uh top of the motor with the cooling going to the filter and then up to the uh the cooler and here's the thermostat and the fan comes on the switch and I check that but you really don't need a fan like that you don't need a fan like that if you got it mounted up in the airstream like that that thing cools just fine I had one on other cars so we're just in the process of uh, untangling uh, this stuff and I'm really not gonna say that any or all of this stuff is wrong because the fact remains this car has been running for years set up the way it has and that is a testimony in and of itself that how robust and and even these bigger motors can be um, under severe conditions and i would call running around in the dirty desert very severe the sand which i'm used to running in isn't as bad because believe it or not those grains of sand aren't uh they're so large they they're pretty easy to keep out of the engine with a sand seal and a good air cleaner with an outer wear on it and you really don't have that much problem unless you have oil leaks and sand is sticking to it but uh in the dirt you know if you watch uh, videos of guys out in the sand there's not a big cloud they throw up a rooster tail from the paddle tires but there's not a big cloud of dust hanging in the air blowing off the side and if you're out with a bunch of guys and the wind's not blowing it can be nasty waiting for the the dust to settle down for the next guy comes along you you got a nose full of mud at the end of the day even if you're wearing a a mask or something so anyhow i uh, just want to give you a little update show you some of the things that i found and uh yeah i'll post a video of the engine running i don't want to work on it hot right now and i've had it to the car wash uh twice already just getting a built up goo that's uh accrued underneath this thing uh, man had a heavy skid plate on it i couldn't even pick it up with one hand so we're gonna shed some weight here uh i i see no need for a skid plate especially with the kind of driving i plan on doing so thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out